So as you can see here, it's 10 hours and nine minutes to walk to uh, Fernsworthy Reservoir on Dartmoor. Now, I'm not too sure when I'm gonna do this, but I am gonna do it. So I'm gonna try walk to Fernsworthy Reservoir and back within 24 hours. I'm literally gonna do this to test the quality of my On The Tools gym wear. But yeah, I wonder how I get on. So the key to doing any event like this is preparation. As you can see, I've got all my shit laid out for tomorrow morning. It's now Thursday evening. So obviously to make this video happen, I'm gonna have to be carrying all my own fucking video equipment. I've got me scram, I've got me fucking waterproof, got me water, got me tripods, got me dry bags, got some stickers to post up along the way. And also I've got me kit ready for tomorrow. I hate the fact that I'm using a fucking squaddy day sack but at the end of the day, I spent 240 quid on it. I couldn't care if it's got swash stickers on for 240 quid, I'm still gonna use it. Do you know what I mean? I'm gonna wake up at three o'clock in the morning and then head off for about half three, hopefully. And yeah, see how it goes. So that, that's the plan. Now, now it's time to get fully hydrated, really. Hydration's key at this stage. I've got like pre-event nerves. Like, I'm nervous. So boom. Hydromax Carbon Max. This is what I'm going to be using for hydration before bed. So the Hydromax, obviously, I'm no longer a natural athlete. I'm an enhanced athlete. So this is going to help me hydrate. It's also going to help with uh, my back pumps. So I'll be using some of this before bed. And also I'm going to be using a bit of Carbon Max to help me hydrate some more and also store a bit of carbohydrates before bed. So yeah, I've been using these both quite consistently. So I'm going to drink them before bed. But yeah, that should help me hydrate a bit more. Not a plug, just generally what I'm going to do. So, obviously it is now 11 minutes past three. In about nine minutes I'll be setting off. And it should take me 10 hours, 10 and a bit hours to get to Fernsworthy Reservoir. A journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. I am fucking starving, man. I hope this place, I don't think it's open. It's not open. The show goes on. This ain't bodybuilding food now, ladies and gentlemen. This is just pure beanage food. I'm going in on a slice of pizza. So I'm currently 10 miles in. It's four minutes past six. I'm having a bit of a rest period. I'm having some flapjacks and some dark chocolate. It's going all right so far. Jump is all right. I'm not too hot, not too cold. I'm just right to fucking keep going. I've switched up to the old fucking GoPro. Do you know what I mean? This hill is a fucking beast. So I've got 16 miles left to go. Uh, my time slowed down quite a bit. I was doing quite well for time. But unfortunately, this last four miles has just been all, all fucking uphill. Country lanes, just fucking zigzagging about. Here they are, the boys. So it turns out playing chicken as a kid has finally paid off. I've made it to the middle section of the Julie. I'm just gonna send it. Oh yeah. So if you're wondering why I'm wearing um, building trousers, because I couldn't find me walking trousers. And I couldn't be bothered by another pair. I think that branch might be in the way actually. 18 miles in and we've whipped out the fucking 
up and go 30 gram pro -E, bit of oats and a Twix. What I got for, well, what Libby got for 30p. So I am now 20 miles in. My arrival time should be 13.42. My legs are starting to feel pretty fucking taxed. I haven't done any cardio in ages and I haven't done any sort of build up. I'm just fucking cracking it out. So I've got to pace myself, really. Like my feet, my feet and my shins are just like, oh, on fire, like, have some like, do you know what I mean? Like, it's just fucking burning. I don't know if that's like a Mirage, or that's a burger van, but I'm hitting that shit right up. So it's probably a bit too windy to put the drone up. I've just tapped up from that heater, some flat, yeah. Espresso and two bottles of water. Man, look chilling. Fuck that power. Fuck. Me, uh, me right foot's blistering pretty fucking bad. You know what I mean? His fucking little toes like almost fucking got the skin fucking taken off. I was just walking along and I felt it just fucking pop and burst. It felt like a tendon had just gone. Compede's the one. Mamoot, your fucking boots are shit. Don't buy Mamoot boots. When that fucking blister popped, I thought it was there, the end. I thought it was game over. I thought it was a tendon, the way it just pinged. And it was just burning. Because obviously I'm an enhanced athlete, innit? My muscles are stronger than me tendons, so I'm like firing a cannon from a rowing boat. I've pulled out the fucking beef jerky at my fucking time where I need it the most. Movement is terribly slow. <coughs> My legs feel sharp. I had that COVID jab the other day, so like two days ago, I was fucking ill as fuck. I've gone too fucking gunno in the first leg. My fucking legs are absolutely shot. I'm 23 miles in. Ground coverage is getting real slow, like slow as fuck. I feel like a snail. I fully feel like a defeated RG. I've literally got six miles to go into a map at ferns wherever you fucking reservoir and honestly my legs are fucking shot i feel fucked it was that uphill bit up towards hate all that's fucking just absolutely ruined me because obviously i'm an enhanced athlete so obviously fucking walking up the hill just fucking fills your legs full of fucking blood so i've got a fucking i had a right pump on and it was like i was fucking just scooping my feet through the fucking snow do you know what i mean like honest to god look how i'm fucking walking ready i'm like pure fucking limping i'm i, I, I really underestimated this challenge there she all i want to do now is get to this fucking reservoir and go home so excuse me not doing too much video in but this has been harder than anticipated I feel like I'm fucking sunburned as well, even though I've plastered myself in fucking facts 50. This is the pace we're moving at. My knees just feel seized to fucking shit, man. I'm 1.3 mile out and I'm actually debating rapping. I can't, I can't do it to myself. I need to get up and I need to fucking keep moving. My legs are seized up to fuck. Like when I go to stand up, I'm getting cramp in both my hamstrings. My legs are just fucking absolutely shot. I think well and truly, oh, my legs are fucked. <clears throat> Honestly, I well and truly think that this sign here deserves an on the tools fucking gym wear sticker on. I'll probably get someone giving me loads of shit for this. They do come off. Look at this. Sorted.
one of my favorite sayings is probably aim for the stars and hit the moon do you know what i mean and i'd say that sums up my life i set out for 60 got 30. do you know what i mean sometimes you win sometimes you lose 0.2 mile left my man's fucking come to pick me up hasn't he big bad wilbo baggins he's come and found me peace out wilbo oh my legs honest to god right don't fucking buy Mamut boots, they're shit. Obviously that's talc. So fucking great. So this is it, the test of durability. Boom. That's had a fucking backpack rubbing on it all the way up fucking Dartmoor, Brixham to Dartmoor. And the logo's still on. So it's it must be a good logo. I'm gonna wash this because it stinks now. So it's the morning after, it's Saturday morning. So if there's one thing to take away from this video, it would be you 100% have to train for that event. Like you you can't just sling a 17 kilo day sack. The 17 kilo, that's a that's rough weight because I weighed it on a set of like actual human weighing scales. So it's not gonna be that accurate, but it said it was like 17 kilo. Anyway. But yeah, you've 100% got to train for an event like that. You can't just swing a day sack on your back and just go and send it. Do you know what I mean? Like, you've actually got to train for that sort of stuff. I haven't trained cardio in ages. But it was good. I enjoyed it. It was fun. Would I do it again? Mm, not for a while. But, yeah. The thing what annoyed me the most was that the first 20 miles, I was doing so well for time. I done the first 20 miles in like six hours and something minutes, like six hours and 30 minutes. I think it was a six hours and 20 minutes between that time. Cause I, I got up onto Haytor for like coming up like quarter to 10 or something. The thing that killed me off was it was just five mile of constant uphill. So it just absolutely shot my legs. It like proper took it out of me. But yeah, it is what it is. And I didn't get the 60 miles, but I was determined to get 30 and the annoying thing was the last 10 miles took me seven hours like 10 miles in seven hours like i was moving so fucking slow i got there for like four o'clock ten past four to fernsworthy reservoir but I, I hope you all enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching check out on the tools gym wear oh.